guys, it's a brand new day, another breakfast buffet. Thanks for being part of me along this amazing journey of glorious Thailand. Let me take you through the breakfast items at the Mao Hotel slash Ica Styles at Sukhumvit Soy for today. It's my day of checking out. Um, and I realized yesterday that I relied heavily on these this breakfast because I am gonna have a really packed day today. And by that I meant I will be moving to a different neighborhood in Bangkok to join a bigger group to continue this adventure with. So today's episode will be significantly different compared to that of the last few, as I will be taking the public transit to Khao San area after I check out of the Ibis styles and get some currency exchange done as I am completely out of cash at this point. So it's best if I satiate myself with this and that's at least going to be keeping me alive for the rest of the day because I know it's going to be a hectic day today. Oh, and by the way guys, I met a really cool guy here while having breakfast. You can see here that I'm talking to him. Now, thinking back at it, I should have probably asked him to join me in the frame. Anyways, he makes some really cool travel content with a historic and logistics oriented twist. Check his channel out, The Hash Brown Traveler. I've linked it in the description down below. It's the morning time, but... And it's empty. Even then, the music, the sounds, Everything kind of feels like this is a very clubbing heavy kind of vibe place. Let's look at the sky. Oh, so the views are much more beautiful from here. So you guys can watch. So it's basically the bar that kind of ends up towards the pool. It's got a really beautiful vibe to it, buddy. I regretted not using my free drink coupon over here. You could just come down from the pool or you have, you're in the pool while uh, having a sip. It's an infinity pool, I believe. There's a shopper right there too. This is, uh, this is posh. As you guys can see, the main road over there, that's uh, the Sukhumvit main road. This is Soy 4 leading up to it. Wow. Let me know what you guys think about this place. It's actually really nice. Landmark Bangkok. It's a little windy. Come, let's go back down. Me and Heights don't do too well together. No, that's a little windy in over here, so I'm afraid that I'll lose my phone. Let's go back. I just wanted to show you guys this area, and this has been the perfect time to show this area to you anyways. Hi guys, so we're, we checked out of the Ibis styles. Now I'm just heading to get some currency exchange done for myself because man is running low on cash and cash is king in Thailand, so you know. So guys, here I came back from a money exchange where I got a really good rate. When it comes to those, always shop around a bit before you get your money exchanged. In my experience, airports and banks did not give me the best rate, so standalone money exchanges just might. Uh, it also depends on the country or the location where you're traveling to. Anyways, here I was just exploring the 7-Eleven for a cold drink until something bad happened. Remember this woman. Guys, you can find practically every drink under the sun to quench your thirst at the 7-Elevens in Thailand. And the best part is that they are not all the same at the different 7-Elevens. So it's like a mini treasure hunt. Additionally, you can find stuff like soju here, which ranged between 87 to 150 Thai baht at this particular location. Right? Super cool. Hey guys, I have a wild story to tell you about what went down at that store. 
I was looking for a drink and I saw this awesome machine that made coffee slushies. I wanted to try one. So I got a cup and started to fill it. But the machine was busted and it only gave me a little bit of slushy and a lot of ice. I didn't want that so I dumped the cup and the ice in the trash and got a bottle of tea instead. But there was the lady from before who saw me do that and she was pissed. FYI, she worked at a money exchange nearby. But she was hella nasty. She rejected me when I wanted to change my money the night before because she said my bills were not pretty enough. <laughs> so now at the store, she whispered something to the cashiers when I lined up. They looked at me and they looked awkward. When I went to pay for my tea, they asked me to pay for the cup too. The lady was watching me and she insti insisted that I pay. I asked her why I had to pay for the cup that I didn't use. She angrily said that I was wasting and I had to pay. Coming from North America, I would throw away paper cups if I didn't need one. And if she had a problem with that, she should have told me that when I was at the machine. But she just kept repeating herself and she got louder every time. She even swore at me. I asked her what she would do if the machine didn't work and she didn't answer me. She just wanted to stir up trouble. She didn't work at the store, she worked at the money exchange and I knew that because she was mean to me the night before. So guys, I got fed up and I paid for my tea and the cup, which was only a little bit of money. And then I raised my voice and I told her that she was being rude. I then left the store because I could feel that there were a lot of people watching us. What do you think of what happened? Did I do the right thing? What would you do differently? Sometimes people are not nice to tourists because they might have some pre-notions about the tourist. But 99% of the locals are absolutely amazing. The manager at Ibis Styles was fortunately in and he was super cool. He helped me decompress by listening to my crazy experience once I came back from 7-Eleven. Alright folks, so now we're heading to Savasti House, Haosan. I'm gonna be checking in to my digs over there and then setting down and heading to the reclining Buddha from there. The path looks a little convoluted, but we're all for the fun. Let's head there and see how things go. So I gotta keep walking a little bit further to get myself the bus. Most likely it is going to be a bus. Guys, you must have heard me say Savasti just a bit ago. It is actually Swadi, which means hello or welcome in Thai. Something I did not put together until later. No, no problem, thank you. Alright, it does say 511. That's on there. So guys, some tips. Like the locals would do it while taking public transit in Bangkok. I would strongly suggest downloading Via Bus for accurate bus times and route navigation while taking buses in Bangkok. I felt that Google Maps completely misdirected me and you will see why in a bit. Additionally, always wait for a bus to stop, even if you are at an actual bus stop. No, not because it's cool to do, but because the bus might actually go away to keep the flow of traffic going. Seventy-one? Twenty-one, okay. Just twenty-one baht, guys. Just to compare, the Grab, it's kind of like Uber, right to my destination was costing me about 85 baht. Buses are the cheapest way to travel in Bangkok. The auntie was super nice and held on to my really heavy backpack when she saw how badly I needed the rest. Her and her daughter were heading to the Democracy Monument as me and were super nice people. Like where we got on from, or when we get down, get down, telling Chan. So I have the Google Maps on. And, and I let the auntie know, she'll, she'll let her. 20 minutes. Are you going there for the democracy monument? Are you going there for the democracy monument? Guys, this is why I love to travel. You meet people from all over the globe and even if you don't speak the same language, you can help each other out and share a laugh and joy. It's the best.
Please subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying the video so far guys. I have really cool experiences like these yeah, in store yeah. for you. By the way guys, I saw this next bus stop screen that displayed the stop both in Thai and in English. So keep an eye out on those. You would usually find those in the AC buses and in some non-AC buses. Additionally, if you can tell the conductor the exact name of the stop, they will guide you to get off. It's similar to how you would function in a bus in Kolkata, India. Hey, so guys, this is what I meant when I mentioned Google Maps misdirected me. You heard me frustrated back there. That's me complaining about how the map recalibrated and then told me that I would have to walk almost two kilometers to my hotel while crossing a river, all because I missed my stop. Sorry, देख लो एक प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब दे दो यार यहां पे हालत बेहाल हो रहा है गाइस दिस वाज मी क्रॉसिंग द पिनक्लाव ब्रिज दैट क्रॉसेस द चाव फ्राया रिवर वॉकिंग इन 35 डिग्री सेल्सियस वेदर विद माय हेवी बैग्स हैड मी एब्सोल्युटली डिस्ट्रॉयड बाय दिस पॉइंट ऑनेस्टली इट वाज इन माय डे I got lost over here again. Also this area kind of reminded me of Golf Face Green in Sri Lanka because you can see so many different types of tourists and everyone's had a moped or something like that. It's very classic Sri Lanka vibes that I could find over here. And guys, we finally made it to Swadi House, the hotel where I would meet the bigger group from G Adventures. Hey guys. So, welcome to the Swadi Hotel, Sawasdi as I pronounce it. Um this is located near Khausan Road. This is basically with the G Adventures Hotel Group. So, by the looks of it, also let this don't gloss over the fact that I'm completely drenched in my own sweat right now because it's really hot outside. I just turned the AC on. Um basically uh this is another very backpacker touristy kind of area by the looks of it. I walked almost a good uh 2 kilometers getting here because I did miss my bus stop. Um so that's a little bit of the context behind it. Let me show you the room itself. Um I was not expecting this but the room is actually pretty decent. As you enter you have a nice couch right there. You do have uh, a little detachment area right here uh to kind of give you that whole like this is an apartment but it's actually a studio <laughs> situation. Studio without a kitchen. Um you have a storage area for your luggage. I think that's a laundry bin. Yeah, I like the why oh, I like this. Uh there's a fridge for your beverages, for your everything. There's some water bottles in there as well. Not sure about the policies of the water bottle. May you may have to pay for it, but there's some literature that we can kind of look through and figure details about about two double beds. The AC is at its lowest at 16 degrees. There's a coat and hat rack right there. There's one lamp and this artwork is pretty decent. Outlets everywhere. Um the view is actually pretty good. I'll show you guys the view in the end. Let's take a look at the washroom. I have not checked out the washroom myself. So, oh, okay. Let's see if yeah. And the washroom lights are on. They're turned on from outside. The switch. Washroom looks nice and clean. It's small. There's a shower, there's a toilet. Uh there's a sweaty guy in there. There's a wash basin. Uh, a little dustbin in the back. The bottom. I don't want to step in with my dirty shoes. And uh they have some toiletries. So yeah, it's a pretty uh pretty functional area 
Um, and now let's take a look at the outside. <sighs> yeah. This area kind of looks almost as if it's a monastery. But I'm guessing that this is just another guest house because uh, on my way here, it was basically a line full of uh, smaller boutique hotels that uh, you can see. Um, also greenery around. Yeah, it's beautiful guys. It's own way. Let the heat stop because I am baking a light over here. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be heading out for a bit to visit uh, the reclining Buddha statue. Fortunately not with all of that luggage again, but um, it's gonna be awesome because it's nice and hot outside. All right guys, just set my very old traveler bones in the Swati Hotel and we're coming out to go check out one of the temples. That's, that's the temple. So let's go check it out. See you guys in a bit. Oh. There's a Burger King over here. Everything is here. No, I'm not going to eat it. The street is Soy Ram Bhattari and it looks really hipster touristy. There's a Starbucks and a Marriott right across. Vatana Songkaran Racha Vorhama Mahaviran so guys, I am at the Vachana Songkran Buddhist temple here that came into prominence in the 1700s. This temple is originally a monastery that was built around 1782. Under the reign of King Rama I, the temple was renovated for monks from Myanmar's Mon region. And hence, this temple became a center for the Mon sect of Buddhism. The temple has a really beautiful architecture and a gilded statue of Buddha. Over here, because... Uh... He said that men, everything works for guys. Um, you just have to wear your mask and just be respectful. So no touching. And these are the different depictions of Buddha. And this is a smaller temple relative to what Arun and what Flo. But even this is magnificent. Like if someone told me that this is Vatarun as one of the main temples, I would believe them and just see this, this alone. I wonder if in Buddhism, Gautam Buddha is considered the same as Lord Ram. Upon looking at the visual story on the wall, it reminded me of the Ramayan. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. So these are basically the different depictions of Buddha's life. Gautam Buddha's like how he became Gautam Buddha. How he received enlightenment under the Bodhi tree and then how he gave enlightenment to his followers. It smells like roses. It smells like a Indian temple basically. Jasmine, Jasmine, not rose, it's Jasmine. This is the main statue of Buddha and surrounding it are all the different forms of Buddha across his lifetime. Guys, Thailand has over 42,000 Buddhist temples and no two temples are alike. Aside from the obvious unique beauty of every temple, each temple also has a history behind it that is steeped in mythology, culture and real events that has its religious fervor which is absolutely fascinating to learn. Guys, 
The icing on the cake for this awesome day was that I got to see a Toyota Celica, one of the Toyota triplets that absolutely dominated racing car world through the 90s. This one is probably from the early 90s and it has a big downpipe and just maintained so well. That absolutely made my day. So guys, what did you think about my adventures for today? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh and by the way, stay tuned for the exciting night out.